All right, what's going on, people? Today, I want to talk about Junto Nakatani. I've heard a lot of people talk about Naoya Inoue and um, Masayoshi Nakatani, who came from Japan. I barely hear people talk about Junto Nakatani, man. This is a great guy. Until Not until he was, he was recruited by Top Crank did he really become popular to, you know, the general public. But today, I want to talk about him. And to me, this is one of the best Southpaws at the moment. I would put him as one of the top Southpaws, man. Just the long reach and uh, his ability to control the distance and work in different distances really impresses me. So let's look at the wide stance first. So here what you're going to see is he mainly keeps a stance, a very wide stance. You'll barely see him square up and the reason why is because he's always trying to have a flexible stance to where he can always stay on balance. A lot of people square up, a lot of people their feet is all over the place, but what you'll see with Masayoshi or with um, Junto Nakatani is that he always maintains this wide stance, as you can see here. It's like a Conor McGregor, right? It always keeps him balanced, it always keeps his movement optimal, and that's what I really like about this guy. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Again, watch how he maintains the wide stance, okay? You'll barely see him square up, you'll barely see him off balance because of this, and he's very good at keeping the stance while he's fighting okay here he's gonna throw a left hand and notice how he stays on balance because he maintains that wide stance boom he ducks down maintains that wide stance as he's moving back again boom as he throws another cross he maintains that wide stance on the inside he squares up for a moment and then here he maintains that wide stance he's very good at it okay let's look now with the counter left so what you'll see with my with uh, nakatani i always say masayoshi is actually junto so here it's going to be a right hand first by Magramo, boom, and then what he's going to do is going to deflect that, right? Now the momentum of Magramo brings his body over to that side, and so what Nakatani decides to do, instead of trying to force it by throwing a long left hand, is he actually shortens it. It's like pouring a coffee cup, so look at it in slow motion here. He brings Magramo to throw the right hand, counter with the right hand, and he throws a counter left hand, stepping back while he does that, boom. Let's look at the next one. Again, waiting for the right hand here, steps back, okay? And he steps back, not only straight back, he steps back at an angle right here. So he doesn't step straight back there, he actually steps back in this position. So he can throw the left hand to the side of the face, he can counter to the side of the face of Magramo, and notice what he does with that long lead hand. Okay, he measures the side of the face, then he proceeds to throw a left hand. I'm not really sure if that landed or not, but um, you guys decide. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the cap, or is, is the short left hand of Nakatani. So in those instances where he decides not to step back, what he does is he just throws it short. Okay, nothing complicated here. He throws the left hand short. Bam. He doesn't step back while he does that. Here's the next one. Again, it's going to be a right hand here. And instead of forcing the issue by stepping back, he just throws it short. Boom. Like pouring a coffee cup. Okay. And it's very advantageous for him because what that does is it brings or it pushes their opponent off balance or it pushes his opponent off balance while he throws that. Another short left hand here is going to be a left hook, I think, by Magramo. So let's see what he does. He leaps in with the left hook or he fakes with the left hook, tries to counter with the right hand. And what Nakatani does is he counters him before he even gets to throw that left hand. So good job for Nakatani's part right there. And then he throws a short left uppercut on the inside. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about with Nakatani is the push and pivot. What he does here, instead of trying to throw the right hook pretty strong, he just uses the right hook as a pushing punch. Okay, so he does it to push his opponent off balance while they are trying to smother, while they are trying to come in. Boom. So he throws a very short one, but look what he does to Magramo. Magramo was off balance right there, and he wasn't able to cut the distance. Okay, he doesn't have to throw it powerfully. He uses it more as a pushing pushing tool. And then once he's done controlling the head, once he's done pushing the head of his opponent, he just pivots away right here, very carefully. Look at another example. Again, here he's gonna start off with a jab, I think. So jab first, now that's a right hook. Magram will try to counter with the left. And then he'll throw another right hook using Magram's own momentum against him. And then he pushes the shoulder off as he pivots away. He gets out safely right there so right hook left hook right hook 
pushing him off and then pivoting away again look how he maintains that wide stance very fundamental i think every japanese gym teaches this that's why you'll barely see japanese fighters square up unless they are fighting on inside on the outside they use a wide stance very much here's the last one here he's gonna control the head once again bam pushing him off first sees the opening on the head he pushes that down and then he pivots away carefully and without any effort very good boxing from uh, Junto Nakatani now let's look at another one here this is gonna be a shoulder escape now so a while ago he was pushing the head off with the right hook now he's gonna use the shoulders of his opponent to, ex to escape so let's see how he does that okay so he's gonna start off here by squaring up very contradictory to what I said a while ago he's gonna square up first bam and then he's gonna look for a place to go so he takes this left foot this rear foot outside of the rear foot of his opponent his opponent is currently squared up and then he pushes him away right there okay so excellent wrestling tactics from the Japanese fighter as well so pushes the shoulder off and Magramo or, or he used Magramo's own momentum against him let's see another one here square up again slips on the right side let's see how he pushes off here here he was supposed to push off Magramo with his right arm or with his right glove but notice what Magramo did that delayed that particular plan by Nakatani he stretched his lead hand out so look at it boom or he raised his lead arm up his lead forearm up so look at what Magramo did here very sneaky move he pushes Nakatani off with his left forearm and that disabled Nakatani from using his right glove to push him off or to turn Magramo so look at it for yourself tried to turn Magramo tried to push the shoulder off Magramo with the right glove that did not happen because Magramo decided to push Nakatani off of off of with his lead forearm his left forearm another example here is gonna be let's see how he does it right glove look at his right glove here it's gonna be more of the head he's gonna push the head off to throw a right uppercut right there and let's see if he does it once again now that's just the head so he pushes the head off of right here or he pushes the head off right here i keep saying off of it's actually push off he pushes the head off here but i'm gonna try to counter with the left hook while nakatani is trying to pivot he blocks that one and then he counters with the right uppercut as he pivots away so look at it one last time boom blocks the hook counters with an uppercut so that was it for this video man Junto Nakatani is a great fighter my sp my sparring partner actually fought him once his name is Jernil Boris that's why I knew about this guy and uh, I know how good he is so that was it I'll see you guys soon one of the best Japanese fighters today and that was it subscribe if you're new I'll see you guys soon peace out